1971, India helped East Pakistan achieve independence. East Pakistan was seceded from Pakistan and became Bangladesh. Baluchistan was not a part of Pakistan in 1947. It was invaded in 1948 by Pakistan, who is occupying it ever since without any international protests. The Baluch live in a vast territory the size of France boasting enormous reserves of gas, gold and copper, as well as untapped sources of oil and uranium. Islamabad's exploitation of natural resources in the area, combined with repressive state-run policies, have resulted in humanly condition in Baluchistan. This has led to five armed uprisings in the region, since the territory was annexed by Pakistan in 1948. If Pakistan can support insurgency and separatist struggles in India by means of proxy wars in Kashmir, so can India. India may choose to support Baluch liberation movement in future, in case Pakistan doesn't stop its proxy war. Here is an insight provided by India's national security advisor, Ajit Duval. Terrorism in India. One is Pakistan, which is the sponsor of this thing. So, in the smothering process, one thing is tackling Pakistan. How do we tackle Pakistan? I talked about their having the nuclear threshold, having the um, uh, uh, strategic weapon systems, missiles, uh, strategic partnership with China, India is having a long border with China and Pakistan. How do we tackle with it? You know, we engage an enemy in three modes. One is a defensive mode, that is you see all the chokidars and chaprasis outside, that is, if somebody comes here, we'll prevent him. We will defend this. One is the defensive offense. That is, to defend ourselves, we will go to the place from where the offense is coming. And third is the offensive mode, where you go outright. Nuclear threshold is a difficulty in the offensive mode, but not in the defensive offense. While we are working today only in the defensive mode. Now, when we come into the defensive offense, then we start working on the vulnerabilities of Pakistan. It can be economic, it can be internal security, it can be political, it can be their isolation internationally, it can be their this thing like that, of exposing their terrorist activities, or it can be anything. It can be defeating their um, uh, policies in Afghanistan, making it difficult for them to manage internal political balance or internal security. I'm not going into those details. but. When you change the engagement from the defensive mode, because in the defensive mode you throw 100 stones on me, I stop 90, still 10 hurt me, and I can never win. Because either I lose or there is a stalemate. You start war at your time, you throw a stone when you want, you have a peace when you want, you have the talks when you want. We, if you are in the defensive offense, we will see where the balance of equilibrium is. Pakistan's vulnerability is many, many times higher than of India. Once they know that India has shifted its gear from the defensive mode to defensive offense, they will find that it is unaffordable for them. You can do one Mumbai, you may lose Baluchistan. There is no nuclear war involved in that. There is no engagement of troops. If you know the tricks, we know the tricks better than you. U.S. has supported Pakistan as Cold War ally because Pakistan agreed to become their proxy. But now U.S.-Pak relations are on ventilator support and U.S.-India relation stands at an all-time high. Afghanistan and Iran who share border with Baluchistan are both opposed to Pakistan and friendly to India. Moreover, China like 1971 is expected not to intervene, especially since situation is heating up in South China Sea. India can afford to have a large military presence and fight a attritional covert war. Pakistani economy is broken beyond its back. They completely rely on the economic aid given by US and the West under the ticket of fighting terrorism. Pakistan army is spread thin in fighting Taliban. With virtually nothing to offer, Pakistan would cease to handle another internal struggle and expected outcome will be like in 1971. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this.
hit the like button, if you find the video interesting. Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section, it will help us improve. Pakistan, a country with powerful military, currently does not have aircraft carrier. What is more interesting is